Bones of the skull can be divided as those of cranium and those of face. Use step of six to remember the bones of the cranium. It means there are six bones begins from sphenoid, temporal, ethmoid, parietal, occipital, and frontal. Use cycles live in Panama to remember the bones of the face. Cycles for zygomatic bone. I hope you can relate the others. There are two paired bones in the cranium. Opposite to that, there are two unpaired bones in the face. Which means other bones of the cranium are unpaired and other bones of the face are paired. Cranium can further divide into vault and the base of the skull. Let's start our discussion with the base of the skull. There are three fossae in the base of the skull. They are anterior, middle and posterior cranial fossae. In anterior cranial fossa, we can find foramen cecum which transmit emissary vein and perforation of the cutiform plate which transmit all factory nerves. In middle cranial fossa, use os rods to remember the foramen of the middle cranial fossa from medial to lateral direction. Optic canal, superior orbital fissure, foramen rotundum, foramen ovale, foramen spinosum. There is also foramen lacerum, which is not included in the mnemonic. Use frontals to remember the superior orbital fissure contents. They are frontal nerve, ocular motor nerve, nasal ciliary nerve, trochlear nerve, abducens nerve, lacrimal nerve, and superior ophthalmic vein. Use ovale to remember the contents of the foramen ovale. They are the otic ganglion, which is just inferior to the foramen, the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve, accessory meningeal nerve, lesser petrosal nerve, and emissary vein. Use standing room only to remember the foramina through which the divisions of the trigeminal nerve pass. Standing for the superior orbital fissure, ophthalmic division pass through it. Room for foramen rotunda. Axillary division pass through it. Only for from an ovale, mandibular division pass through it. Here are the other structures that pass through other foramina of middle cranial fossa. Use I'm just here for Maggie, or I'm just here for myth, or I'm just here for magic, or you can use. I'm jumping from a higher mountain to remember the foramina of posterior cranial fossa from lateral to medial. They are internal acoustic meatus, jugular foramen, hypoglossal canal, and foramen magnum. Use fat lady to remember the contents of internal acoustic meatus. They are vestibular cochlear nerve, facial nerve, and labyrinthine artery. Some of them use seven up, cock down. Seven means seventh cranial nerve or facial nerve. Up means it is superior in internal acoustic meatus. Cock down is for cochlear branch. And down means it is inferior in the internal acoustic meatus. Here are the contents of the other foramina of posterior cranial fossa. You can see that 7 and 8 cranial nerves goes through internal acoustic meter while 9, 10 and 11 go through jugular foramen and 12th cranial nerve goes through hypoglossal canal. Remember like that in order. It's the inferior view of the skull. You can see some foramina and their contents. Purple ones are the discussed ones previously. Remember the location of foramen spinosum as spinosum is near the spine of sphenoid. This is the anterior view of the skull. Here are some foramina and fissures we can find in this view. Use inferior orbit gets infraorbital nerves and veins. To remember the contents of inferior orbital fissure, they are inferior ophthalmic vein. Ganglionic branches from telegraphic ganglion 
to maxillar division of the trigeminal nerve, infraorbital nerve, artery and vein, zygomatic branch of the maxillar division of the trigeminal nerve. A mnemonic to remember the bones which forms the medial wall of the orbit is my little eye stick in the orbit, ignore the in the orbit part. Then you can get maxilla, lacrimal, ethmoid and sphenoid bones. A mnemonic, a mnemonic to remember the lateral wall of the orbit is red spicy foods. You can then get greater wing of sphenoid and frontal process of zygomatic bone. Annulus of sin or common tendinous ring is a ring of fibrous tissue at the apex of the orbit. Structures passing through it can be memorized as one canal, several orbital nerves in one annulus. They are optic canal, superior division of the ocular motor nerve, nasociliary nerve, inferior division of the ocular motor nerve, abducens nerve. Supraorbital foramen is superior to the orbit and transmits supraorbital nerves and vessels. Similar to that, infraorbital foramen is inferior to the orbit and transmits infraorbital nerves and vessels. Here is the zygomatico facial foramen which transmits zygomatico facial nerve. This is the mental foramen. It transmits my mental, mental nerve which is a branch of inferior alveolar nerve and mental branch of inferior alveolar artery. See that's so easy. Just get the structures passing through them by the name of the foramen. That's all for this video. But I have to tell that mnemonics are not the best way to study the anatomy. Best way is memorizing the pictures. Thank you for watching. Let's meet again from another video.